having a passion for wildlife and having a passion for photography, it's, it's in your blood. I've had it since I was a kid. I've always loved nature. And um, since I was a kid, I always wanted to um, help in some way with the conservation of uh, native animals in Australia and the world. So I've actually um, been fine tuning my skills as a photographer um, to um, capture images that can be used for conservation reasons. And now I'm helping with BirdLife and the World Wide Fund for Nature through that imagery. We are the guardians of the natural world. We influence how nature is affected by our, our own day-to-day -day life and um, we, we are then obligated to be guardians for the natural world. So if I can convey to people how beautiful nature is, how beautiful the whales are, how beautiful the parrots are, the orange belly parrot, which I luckily photographed in the wild recently, if we can show people how beautiful these things are and how important they are, hopefully that'll convince more people that we need to conserve the natural world. It, when you display your photographs at markets, you actually are opening up yourself for critics and you're opening yourself up to the public. Um, I actually have great satisfaction in showing people how beautiful things are and there are markets like the Port Ferry Community Market is a perfect example where uh, people haven't seen how beautiful this coastline is from the air and I've got the images that shows how beautiful it is and there are important issues in some of these areas that are, could it be impacting on these uh, beautiful areas and uh, by showing people how beautiful they are, it can help with the conservation areas. The two organisations, both BirdLife and World Wide Fund for Nature, are leaders in conservation in the world. Uh, BirdLife have been uh, instrumental with uh, a lot of um, uh, programs like the Orange Belly Parrot and um, a Little Hooded Plovers and um, uh, Swift Parrots. They organise volunteers all over Australia to look after these different species. As for World Wide Fund for Nature, they're the biggest organisation that actually looks after um, uh, conservation across the world, like for instance building um, or creating a whale sanctuary in Antarctica. They're actually big in policy making across the world and that's, that's why I want to help with those organisations.